This podcast episode is a little bit different than the usual chapters. I'm going to share a life update with you. It's about what's been going on uh, in my business, a new offer that I'm working on, and what's coming up for the podcast. It's a little glimpse behind the scenes, so let's go. Hi, I'm Mariella. I help introverts who work from home to create healthy habits so that they have more energy and improve focus without habits that feel forced or only last two weeks. On this podcast, I share the things that I'm researching and what I'm learning on my mission to understand what introverts really need to feel energized and to do the things that are important to them. I'll share with you some of the science behind these ideas and practical tips that might inspire you to live a happier, healthier life. Let's start with what's happening with the podcast. If you've been here for a while, you may have noticed that I've slowed things down quite a lot with the podcast. We went from an episode every week uh, to every two weeks to every month which is where we're at right now. If you're a business owner or you're active online professionally, most people will tell you that you need to post consistently and often. With once a week being a kind of the minimum, <laughs> um, I definitely break all those rules. Whether it's wise or not from a marketing standpoint, I don't know, I'm not a marketing expert. But what I do believe is doing things in a way that's best for you. So slowing down with the podcast was an intentional decision. At the moment, I'm all the roles in my business. I'm a one person show. And I do have to divide my time and energy between the different areas in my business, my family, and my personal life. It can be really easy to let work kind of take over your whole life. And when you love what you do, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Um, but it can be challenging to find that work-life balance or better yet a harmony between your professional life and your personal life. So when I started uh, my coaching business in 2020, I adopted the philosophy that my business has to work for me and not the other way around. I wanted a different lifestyle than the 40 plus hour working week. I wanted to be able to spend the afternoons with my kid after he got home from school. And I wanted to do work that I felt was meaningful and that would be sustainable for me over time as well. I recently also changed the direction of the podcast slightly, focusing more on habit research and, and tips. And the episodes have become less frequent, but also more in depth and a little bit longer. So when things shift in one area, things need to be able to shift in the other areas as well. And that's an important aspect of sustainability for me at this stage in my life. So for the past few months, publishing a new chapter once a month was the right rhythm for me to combine researching and creating the podcast episodes with family life, working with clients, and the new coaching program that I'm developing. There was a time when my inner critic would have found this completely unacceptable and would have been chasing me to continue with the weekly podcast episodes, even if it meant running myself into the ground. Well, we've been there, we've done that. So now my focus has shifted a bit away from what we typically think of as consistency and more towards continuity. So I regularly ask myself, what is needed so that I can continue to do my work the best way that I can? If that means slowing down the podcast temporarily, then that's what we'll do. So slowing down when I need to, changing things in my business to accommodate my life, especially as a parent, I accepted that things will take longer this way. This won't be an amazing how I built my dream business in two years story. Imagine it more as a tree that's slowly growing through the seasons. And that suits me really. I am hoping to set up the systems and potentially with a small team to keep the business running without me. And I'm starting to get a little bit of help here and there. I'm really grateful to all of you who have stuck around uh, through these many changes. And um, I hope that you'll stick around for what's coming up next as well. What's up next for the podcast? Just like last year, I'm taking a break over the summer from the podcast. This is the final chapter for season three, and I'll be back mid-September with a new episode, the first episode of season four. I'm using this summer break as a reset and to also think about improvements that I could make for the podcast. 
So right now we are bootstrapping this thing. The videos are pretty bad, as you know. <laughs> Um, I've gotten comments about that and actually some really constructive criticism as well. It's not a priority for me at the moment, but improving my videos is definitely something that I want to work on in the future. I know I have a long way to go to make this podcast something really interesting. It is important to me to keep growing and learning new skills here as well. So plenty of opportunity for that, I guess. One more update about the podcast, a practical thing is I know that a few of you follow the podcast on Google Podcast. As of July um, 2024, Google has discontinued Google Podcast and everything has moved to YouTube. Productive Introvert Community is already on YouTube and you can find all the episodes under my channel, Mariela Franker, or you can search for Productive Introvert Community with Mariela Franker PhD on your favorite platform and jump over there to continue uh, following. A question that people ask me is, are you really taking two months off? It's been a long-standing dream of mine to take two to three months off per year, but it never seemed like something that was possible. In 2022, I decided that if it was something that I really wanted, that I was just gonna start practicing. Last year was my first tryout, so to say. I converted the podcast to a seasonal one, taking a break from mid-July to mid-September. And I took, um, took all other business activities down a notch. So I continued working with my active clients and I continued my mailing list. This year, I'm in the midst of developing a new program, so that will continue in the background. I'm pausing the podcast like before and my continual uh, soundboard clients. I will be available for new clients who are lined up to start in July and my mailing list will also continue. So to answer that question, I'm not taking time off completely uh, as some things will continue throughout the summer, but it will be mostly family time. I'll be traveling and just taking it easy and finding some new inspiration. I'll probably keep doing this until I've built out the systems that I need so that I can take time off completely. So hopefully I'll achieve that goal in a few years time. What else is happening behind the scenes? I'm developing a new coaching program for introverts who want to learn how to set the right priorities so that they can get the important things done and still have energy left at the end of the day. It will be about building easy habits, how to calm down the inner critic, and how to make progress, but in a way that works for you. Last month, we had a giveaway that was related to this idea, and I sent out invites to get on a feedback call with me. The response has been so positive. I'm so grateful to all of you for sending me your positive words and your positive reactions to that call out. I had 10 seats available and they filled up within a week. And I got to speak to a lot of great people from this community, some of which I was ev even able to meet in person. And people were also telling me they really liked that it was a win-win situation. I was able to give people feedback on their energy and focus question in their personal situation. And they gave me some great feedback on a two-page description of my coaching program. So it was really helpful also to have these conversations. It really is something that helps me to understand how to shape the program so that it is most beneficial um, to you guys. And uh, just having the opportunity to meet some of you in person was, was fantastic. I'm planning to do another round of win-win feedback calls later this year. And uh, I know the application time this year was very short. It was about two weeks and only a few days if you follow the podcast only. For the next round, the application uh, time will be longer. So if you were interested but didn't get a seat this time, keep an eye out for that call out. It will probably be around November. Don't quote me on that. I still have to set up that plan, but I'm aiming to do that in November. So keep an eye out on you know, any channel that we're connected on, for example, YouTube or the audio podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts or on LinkedIn. If you want to be the first to know when the next win-win feedback round will be, then sign up for my mailing list, Productive Introvert Letters. You'll also get written summaries of the podcast episodes and stories and tips about habit research, especially for introverts who work from home. I'll leave the link to sign up for the mailing list in the description for you. And uh, I send an email every two weeks and that one runs throughout the year. 
Thank you for hanging out with me today and I wish you a very lovely summer. Uh, I will be back, like I said, mid-September with a season four and I hope to see you there. Bye for now.